Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are on day three of the Organize With Me Challenge and we are gonna go through our pantry and our fridge and remove all the expired foods. Ready, here we go. So I'm gonna go through my pantry and my fridge and I'm gonna remove anything that's expired and I'm also gonna look for things that I just know that I'll never eat. Those are the kind of things that I might donate to a food shelf or our church actually has a drive for the local food bank. So I want to challenge you to go through all of your food, look for the expiration dates in your pantry and your fridge, and also while you're at it, why not check your medications for the same expiration dates as well. Don't forget your spices and your herbs because they will expire and the flavors do lessen over time. Now before I get started with our pantry, I want to just give you a quick organization tip for your pantry. My best tip to you is to group like items of food together. You can even use little containers to kind of subdivide and organize things. These can be things from the dollar store or 31 has some amazing bins like the Your Way Rectangle and the Your Way Display Bin. Depending on the size of your pantry, those are great options and can even be embroidered to give you an idea of what's inside. I like to use clear containers and take things out of the boxes. So for example, these are the granola bars and the breakfast cookies. And I take them out of the box and I put them inside here. That way I can see how many are left because I don't know about you, but if you have kids, chances are you've gone into your pantry looking for something and rocked out with an empty box. Am I right? I used to always have boxes that were empty with no food in them and I had no idea what was actually truly left. So I take them out, they take up less space this way, and it's easier to see what you have. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly go through my pantry. Let's see what I can find that's expired or that I no longer will eat for whatever reason, and I will show you what I come up with at the end. Hey guys, okay, the pantry is done. And just a little quick tip, when you're going through your pantry and your fridge, when you notice that you're running low on something, take a quick moment and write it down on a grocery list. And this will help you see what you have and what you might need. Also, you can use the same time to do a little menu planning. Write down the staples that you have and see how many meals that you can come up with with that list. I like to keep a list on my fridge that shows me everything that I could make at that moment or that I already have made. This makes for quick and easy meal plan and you can see what you have easiest when you're cleaning out your pantry and your fridge. Another quick tip is to try to clean out your pantry and fridge right before you go grocery shopping. Not only will you be able to shop from your pantry and fridge first when you're doing your meal plans, but it's much easier to see what you have and get rid of things when there's less food there. I, of course, did not have that option today, but I do typically clean the fridge and the pantry on days that I'm about to go grocery shopping. Okay, so real quickly here, I found a pile of food in the pantry that is all expired or that I will not be eating that I've opened already. So this is going in the trash. And then I also found a pile of food that we will not be eating, but is not expired and not opened, and these I'll be donating to the food bank. Okay guys, my pantry is done. I'm moving on to my fridge and my freezer. Just like before, it's really helpful if you group like items together. Let's dive in. Okay, I'm all done with the fridge and the pantry, and I actually found quite a bit more expired food than I originally thought I was going to find in here because I did do my pantry and fridge not too long ago in a Minimalist Monday video, in case you guys have seen one of those previous videos. A little quick tip here though, if you have small children, make sure that you put healthy snacks or things that you want them to eat at a reachable level. So I have the, the cucumbers and the yogurt right here at a reachable level and those bananas in the back are gonna turn into some banana muffins soon. But that way he can come in and reach those and I don't have to worry about it. It also goes for the vegetables. Over here in the freezer, I put all the vegetables up high at more eye level because I'm more likely to grab up high than I am down low. I've coordinated them all together, like with like, just like before, and now I've emptied out everything that's been expired. So let's see what I got. Okay, I got a whole bunch of food expired from the refrigerator or mystery containers that have been in there for a little while or things that have been opened for a long time that just don't look right to me. So all of these are gonna go in the trash or recycle the containers appropriately. And then I also found a bunch of things that were in the freezer that have expired, some smoothie blends, and there were actually a few containers like these hash browns that have not expired, 
but they have holes in the packaging and I'm just a little unsure, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of them. Okay, so this is what I cleared out of the spices. I tend to only buy this brand, Simply Organic. So I have the majority of my containers are Simply Organic. And these are just some older ones that were no longer used or expired. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these out. I also took a moment to gather the expired medications out of my medication cabinet in the hall closet. So this is what were expired and I'll go ahead and throw these out. Okay, let me recap day three with our expired food and medicines with a couple tips. First, make sure you're doing all of your cleaning and decluttering of the food before you go shopping. The ideal time to do it is right before you would do a grocery shopping run. Second, as you're organizing your pantry, make sure you're grouping like items with like items. So all of your soups are together, all of your spices are together. And depending on the size of your pantry, you can use a Your Way rectangle or a Your Way display bin, both of which are from 31, to help organize within your categories. Speaking of medications and first aid in particular, I love to use the fold up family organizer or the fold up travel bag as a great portable first aid kit. I put everything that I need right inside and I always know where to find it. So that's it for day three. Go clean out your pantry, your fridge, and your medications. Throw out all the expired food and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another Organize With Me video. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe, click the notification bell. You're not gonna wanna miss any of these videos and feel free to like and share the video with someone who wants to get better organized in the new year. I'll see you tomorrow.